The Hero PRO is Open Bionic's latest advancement in bionic prosthetics, unveiled in April 2025. Building upon the success of the original Hero Arm, the Hero PRO introduces significant enhancements in functionality, durability, and user experience. Catering to the dynamic needs of below elbow amputees, the Hero PRO offers up to 45 degrees of manual wrist flexion and extension in both directions, along with full 360 degrees manual rotation. This design aims to reduce compensatory movements, facilitating easier object grasping and improved ergonomics. A pioneering connector allows users to swiftly switch between various activity attachments, enabling seamless transitions between tasks without changing the entire prosthesis. The Hero PRO stands out as one of the world's first fully wireless and waterproof bionic arms, offering users greater freedom and confidence in diverse environments. Compared to leading bionic hands, the Hero Pro operates twice as fast, enhancing responsiveness and efficiency in daily activities. The FlexiVol and PointerVol are two innovative research projects developed by UPNA LAB, focusing on enhancing human interaction with volumetric displays. FlexiVol is a volumetric display system that employs an elastic diffuser, allowing users to physically reach into the display volume and interact directly with 3D content. This design addresses the limitations of traditional volumetric displays, which often use rigid diffusers that prevent direct touch interaction. By enabling tactile engagement, Flexible opens up new possibilities for immersive experiences in fields such as virtual reality, medical visualization, and interactive simulations. The key innovation is enabling haptic interaction with volumetric images, overcoming the limitations of traditional rigid diffusers used in such displays. PointerVol is a modified laser pointer designed specifically for swept volumetric displays. Traditional laser pointers are ineffective with volumetric displays because they project a line rather than a point within the 3D space. Building a satellite is a complex but fascinating engineering challenge that involves multiple disciplines including aerospace, electrical, mechanical, and software engineering. Below is a high-level breakdown of how to build a small satellite, e.g. a CubeSat or nanosatellite which is the most feasible option for individuals, universities, and startups. Generates, stores, and distributes electricity. Typically includes solar panels to convert sunlight into energy and batteries to provide power when the satellite is in Earth's shadow. A power control system manages the flow of electricity, used for initial orbit insertion and station keeping, making small adjustments to maintain the correct orbit and orientation. This can involve chemical thrusters or electric propulsion systems. Attitude Determination and Control System, ADCS, controls the satellite's orientation in space. This is crucial for pointing instruments, solar panels, and antennas correctly. It uses sensors, e.g. star trackers, sun sensors, gyroscopes, and actuators, e.g. reaction wheels, thrusters, magnet or quares. Building a satellite is a complex and resource-intensive undertaking, typically the domain of space agencies, large corporations, and specialized aerospace companies. Maintains the satellite's temperature within operational limits. Kawasaki Corleo Walks. The Kawasaki Corleo was unveiled at the Expo 2025 Osaka as a concept model showcasing Kawasaki's vision for the future of off-road personal mobility, potentially around the year 2050. It's a unique hydrogen-powered, four-legged robotic vehicle designed to traverse challenging terrains. The rear legs have a swing-arm-like mechanism to absorb shocks. Instead of wheels, the Corleo utilizes four independently articulating legs, each ending in a split rubber hoof. This design allows it to navigate uneven surfaces like grasslands, rocky areas, and rubble fields with enhanced stability and grip. The Corleo is equipped with a 150cc hydrogen engine that generates electricity to power the drive units in each of its four legs. The hydrogen is stored in a rear-mounted canister, and the only emission is water vapor, aligning with clean energy goals. Unlike traditional vehicles with buttons and levers, the Corleo is designed to respond to the rider's bodyweight shifts detected through sensors in the handlebars and stirrups. 
This aims to create a more natural and unified riding experience. The Volanot Airbike is a cutting-edge personal hoverbike developed by Polish inventor Tomasz Patan, renowned for his work on the Jetson 1 EV Tital. This futuristic vehicle aims to transform personal air mobility by offering a unique blend of advanced engineering and sci-fi inspired design. The design is minimalistic with an open frame, providing the rider with an unobstructed 360-degree view and an immersive sensation of flight. There's no roof, windshield, or cockpit. The airbike utilizes a jet propulsion mechanism, enabling vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL capabilities, and reaching speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour. Constructed with advanced carbon fiber materials and 3D printed components, the airbike is approximately seven times lighter than a conventional motorcycle. Equipped with a custom stabilization system enhanced by a flight computer, it offers automatic hovering and intuitive control for the rider. Spaceship Neptune is a unique high-altitude balloon and pressurized capsule system designed for near-space tourism by the American company Space Perspective. It's not a rocket-powered spaceship in the traditional sense, but rather a luxurious, gentle way to experience breathtaking views of Earth's curvature against the blackness of space. The heart of Spaceship Neptune is a spherical carbon composite capsule, which is 16 feet 5 meters in diameter, and provides over 2,000 cubic feet 60 cubic meters of pressurized volume. Space Perspective emphasizes the carbon-neutral aspect of their flights, using renewable hydrogen for the balloon and offsetting any remaining emissions. The balloon material is also retrieved and recycled after each flight. After cruising at altitude for about two hours, the balloon and capsule begin a gentle two-hour descent, splashing down in the ocean. The nuclear-powered Sky Hotel, also known as the Sky Cruise or Skytanic, is a visionary concept for a flying luxury hotel that could remain airborne for extended periods, potentially years without landing. This ambitious idea was initially designed by concept artist Tony Holmston and later brought to life through animation by science communicator Hashem al Ghaili. The aircraft would be powered by 20 electric engines fueled by a small nuclear fusion reactor, providing the necessary energy to keep the hotel aloft indefinitely without refueling. Envisioned to be fully autonomous with advanced artificial intelligence systems managing flight operations and onboard services. The concept relies on nuclear fusion reactors, which as of now are not commercially viable or compact enough for aviation purposes. It's envisioned as a gigantic hybrid between an airplane and a cruise ship, capable of accommodating over 5,000 passengers and crew. Passengers and supplies would be transported to and from the sky crews by conventional airliners and private jets that would dock with a massive flying hotel. The nuclear power source is touted as providing clean energy with no carbon footprint. Maintenance and repairs would also be performed while in flight. Moto I E6 HUD, the Moto I E6 HUD head-up display is an all-in-one smart device designed for motorcycle helmets to enhance rider safety and convenience. It aims to keep a rider's eyes on the road by projecting essential information directly into their line of sight. The core feature, it uses augmented reality principles to display information like maps, calls, music, and speed directly in front of the rider's eyes. The display is designed to be bright and transparent, ensuring it doesn't obstruct the view of the road. It's positioned above the eyebrows, not directly in front of the eyes. Integrates with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, allowing riders to use Google Maps and Apple Music for turn-by-turn -turn directions and entertainment without needing to interact with their phone. A significant safety feature, the E6 includes a rear-view camera that streams live video to the HUD. This helps reduce blind spots and allows riders to constantly monitor traffic behind and around them without turning their head. The camera angle can be adjusted. The E6 features advanced mesh communication technology, enabling group communication with other riders.
The Blue Ring Pathfinder is a technology demonstration mission developed by Blue Origin to validate the core systems of its Blue Ring space mobility platform. This mission was launched aboard the inaugural flight of the New Glenn rocket on January 16th, 2025, from Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Can host up to 3,000 kilograms across 13 ports, accommodating various satellite classes, including ESPA and ESPA Grande. Utilizes a combination of chemical propulsion for major maneuvers and electric propulsion for station keeping and efficient orbit changes. It was the inaugural payload for Blue Origin's heavy lift New Glenn rocket. New Glenn's first successful launch, NG-1 mission, took place on January 16th, 2025, from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Launch Complex 36. This mission successfully deployed the Blue Ring Pathfinder into orbit. The Blue Ring Pathfinder mission is a crucial step towards the development of the full Blue Ring platform, which is envisioned as a multi-mission, multi-orbit space mobility platform.